let the Chelsea fans out. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, what again. Place, so, yeah. And I'm like, why are you wearing blue? She's a representative. I don't like this guy saying. Like, now blue fans. Now Chelsea fans. I'm sure you better to wear blue today. Is this You better to wear blue today. You better to wear blue today. She's just going with the flow of success. She's not going with the flow of success. Exactly. She's going with the flow of... Amanda, are you there? Sorry, no. No, are you there? No. No, I just wanted to know whether you are there. Okay, now, we are back again like we never left to bring to your view and pleasure the very best of throwback vibes and many more in between. Yes, it's time to get nostalgic as we bring dropping songs that will make you start to reminisce about what and what you are doing with your life when any of the songs gets to be played today. Yeah. Yes, true that. That's exactly what we're all about on days like this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the throwback edition of Eat Splash. And of course, the day after Chelsea defeated Atletico Madrid, Twice we'll be there. That's why you're excited. Two legs, Atletico Madrid. Did I even Wait, hear you let say me do anything. my intro. No, why did I even hear you say anything on Tuesday when I came on this show? We won. What, our was, last... what was the weekend like for us? Um, not cheat, man. No, which which not cheat? <laughs> so we beat Atletico Madrid. Look at this. Atletico mm. Madrid, mm. they are the team that are topping the Spanish La Liga. Mm -hmm. And we beat the number one team in mm. Spain twice. Nice one. Twice. I'm happy for we've, we've played 12 matches with our new coach. Oh God, are you all right? I am all right. I am free. I am free. He never even chose. He never chose. Who did step on your yeah. neck? Hey, hey, nobody did step on my neck. And he not even restricts my airflow. And I did tell him, friend, I've gone out for like one B. Or burn me. Or burn me. All this suffering. No. They've, not, they've not gone to the Champions League in like 50 years. That's not people. <laughs> And this season, they are not making top four. They beat 30 and they were 10th position. They beat 30 and they ended up at 10. I think it's always they follow us now, fans. They talk. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Royal Highness and his planets. I go by the name King OJ, but you can call me OJ. Up, Chelsea! Wow. Will you keep quiet? Will you keep quiet? All this beef. All right, guys, my name is Amanda Dara. Today, you can call me Amanda Dara. Up, Chelsea! Blues for life. Amanda. Who they join, buddy? Carry my hand up now. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, Down ass now. Up ah. oh, ass now. God ass for life. Okay. 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 That. I cannot support Arsenal. Mm. Even if I don't support any club, I know that Arsenal is not the You're an Arsenal fan. Okay. You're a Nigerian. Nigerian. Your, Your president is, is just, like back to back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't even impose any president on us. You hear me? <laughs> wow. All right, guys, what do we have for you today? We have the entertainment news, of course. Then, of course, we have the celebrity birthday shout out. Then we'll be rewinding to this day in entertainment history. And, well, Amanda Bebe <laughs> will be in charge of taking us through all the crazy moments on social media on Twitter. <laughs> right after one of us, we'll be ranting on what's currently bugging him or her on the Throw It Off segment. Also, be taking the news recap and checking out where are they now. Yes, on Daily Top 5 for today, we'll be talking about five throwback expressions of love, after which we'll be be joined by an industry expert who will be telling us about something super excited. It's Throwback Thursday, people. The show has begun. Up, Chelsea! Up, 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 the show is for everyone. Who are you? Yeah, but we are dedicating today. To hey, 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 no. hey, hey. Come on, keep <laughs> quiet there. Okay. I don't want to hear anything, Chelsea, again <laughs> on this show. I'm forever. Wow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> jokes? <laughs> because the joke, they are when forever. I came on Tuesday, did, did, was I in everybody's... I mean, no, don't try that, okay? Mm. Let us just have a peaceful show, okay? It's a Thursday, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's do this. Can you just give us the instruments news already? You probably already know how our SNAP fans used to hate. But let's just move on with the show. Hate. <laughs> it's Emma. time for the entertainment news. Oh. Emma Zamike, who be this? I laugh. You people have not made top four in like 50 years. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Can we breathe? <laughs> okay. No, not to breathe. It's a chocolate. Let's go with the entertainment okay. news. Okay. <laughs> 
Say what you have caused. Yes, Avatar reclaims <laughs> top spots as highest grossing film. More than a decade after its release, Avatar is once again the highest grossing film of all time, reclaiming the converted title for Marvel's Avengers Endgame. All of this is coming after the sci-fi epic film, which debuted in 2009, was re-released in China, the world's biggest movie watching market, following the renewed interest from the Chinese audience. This new development has garnered enough intricate sales to take its box office gross past $2.8 billion and in its crown back. Celebrating the achievements, Avatar producer John Lando uh, said in a statement, and I quote, We are proud to reach this great milestone, but Jim, James Cameron, and I are most thrilled that the film is back in theaters during these unprecedented times, and we want to thank our Chinese fans for their support. Just so you know, the director of Avatar, James Cameron, is currently working on four sequels to the film. The next installment, which has been delayed several times, is currently scheduled for release in December 2022. Wow. Great. Who would have Great. thought about this? Mm, I wouldn't have. In fact, the other Avatar. day, I was wondering why it's not on streaming platforms already, because mm -hmm. I'm like, I mean, you already yeah, see some of the older ones, yeah. and I'm like, when is this thing going to come on TV or on streaming platforms? And for the fact that they're still making money out of this, like, that is mind-blowing. Is it ah. a good to watch in China? <laughs> I, I, you know, I, was, I have a theory that people like Lee Minho or something. Okay. One of those, maybe he was watching it one day, and then all his uh, fans, aunts, all his know. fans are like aunts. Nah, I want to watch this thing too because I don't understand <laughs> where the conversation came from. It could also have been strategic because, as I said, that's, the, that's the that's the biggest market. No, of right course there. it is strategic. Yeah. And because yeah. they're coming up with a sequel, so let's just give them so that people start. But the sequel about is it. 2022. Meanwhile, why, why is this sequel like Whiskey's album? <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm I'm scared, <laughs> looking forward to Avatar. I I, because I see all of you, especially coming to America, a lot of people were saying, oh, no, they shouldn't have bothered, they shouldn't have bothered. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just scared that Avatar will come out and people will now say, especially oh, they shouldn't have Especially after the long yeah. wait. You know, I, but I, but I whether you like it or yes, you still even still find people who Watch just it, like I it love and it, they love it. it. Even mm -hmm. with the coming to, coming America. to America. I loved it, but people were just saying, they shouldn't have bothered. Uh, Avatar, hmm. The technology back then were like, wow, wow, we were but, wild, now, but now we they need have to something get the graphics right. mind blowing. They have to no, I, sure I think I want to watch it again to see how, yes. whether I will look at it and be like, eh. Yeah, I because at the time that was like the best thing yeah. to have ever watched. Yeah. So I'm hoping that they do the graphics properly. But it's also very, very interesting that they are still earning from mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that you know you do a film and you have your royalties mm -hmm. almost for life. For life. Yeah. James Cameron is just chilling. The first very one, soon now they release Avatar. Titanic again. And um, Titanic is huh. three and it's still directed by James Cameron. So it's just S cashing out everything. So I'm very sure that they're going to put the modern day technology into consideration. Mm -hmm. I want to believe so. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's just so. keep our so fingers 2022, crossed, right? 2022, we shall see. Mm. Okay, 2022. We shall see. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Kanye West becomes the wealthiest black man in American history. Fresh off his 22nd Grammy win and tying the record for most awards by a hip-hop artist, Kanye West is in the news again as he is reportedly now worth a 6.6 .6 billion dollars, easily making him the wealthiest black man in American history. According to Bloomberg, the music star's collaboration with Gap is set to hit stores this summer and could be worth as much as 900 and 70 million dollars of the brand's value not forgetting its crowd pleasing sneaker and apparel brand yeezy which is now valued at 3.2 billion dollars to 4.7 billion dollars if you would recall just last year kanye west signed a 10-year agreement to design and sell apparel under the yeezy gap label which is to in turn skyrocketed the company's shares meanwhile is Adidas deal is still firmly in place until 2026. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Kanye was an African man. I would say he's doing jazz. As in, <laughs> that's just it. Honestly, so you speaking, know we talked about this. I, I Even when we were talking about the divorce what? and everything, and they were talking about mm. who makes the uh, Hot, most, money most money and all that. Yeah, I, and I said it. Uh, this dude, I, I just love. I think the we're laughing at him at first. Like what rubbish? No, so what I feel like you when you come out with something different, people will just love you. Then the fact that he's a celebrity is mm -hmm. another thing. Like the way they view, they are celebrities, and then they are international celebrities. These are celebrities that all around the world people mm -hmm. want to wear your brand. Mm -hmm. So. Even if it's not something that 
people yeah, really yeah, think is cool. Just the fact that, because I remember the time when I can't remember Beyonce's um, shoe line. Mm -hmm. She had. I remember I had it and I wore it like twice. I was just looking at it inside the box. <laughs> oh my it's God. psychological. <laughs> like, oh my God, Beyonce signed this thing. Oh. <laughs> like, so that is the mind play there. So I feel like, look at how he was able to merge with Gap and this company yeah. shares skyrocketed mm. so it's more on the brand name <sighs> and that, that is amazing for him so wow. 6.6 so right now if they add jay-z hmm. they add Didi, they add drake they add eminem they add master p mm. who else is on who, who else is in that top 10 list they will yeah. not get they will not get up to 6.6 like if they add all their earnings together, they will not stay rich Kanye West. Uh, apparently, it's like the way to make money nowadays. If you're not doing to be crazy. music, you're not in the music or entertainment industry, it's tech. So it's a tech. And, what, and, what and it's, and and it's, and it's rolling with the tech guys too. It's rolling yeah. with the tech guys too. The thing you guys are not talking about so, is the collaboration. You know, that's yes. very key. Like you just look at your stuff and then you feel, okay, who ah, is who's that yeah. person that I think can take can this think. to the next level? Huh. Who, who, but if I make sure you buy, because eh? all these Nigerian fans now, you watch your show, you love your show. If I make sure you Especially buy, especially those shirts, those eh? tons. You put you look this Nigerian fan, no love. Okay, they show love to some housemates. <laughs> eh, that they buy car houses for them. Uh, uh, wow, don't even <laughs> let us go down. No, don't let us go to. That. They, they, actually, they actually show love. They, they, buy, they buy cars, they buy really? houses. Are you sure? They, they those buy, cars, they no, buy are shares. Are you sure those cars are from the fans? <laughs> yes, no, I'm just asking. I'm just checking. Yes, sir. They no, have, really? They interesting. Have like, they have like a WhatsApp group. Oh, oh today is so People simple. cannot do WhatsApp group for East Splash. Since we've been entertaining you since. You have not even bought us cake. Ha! <laughs> ah. Let's just move on. I'm, I'm upset. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Okay. Okay. So but are you sure there are those fans who do this? Fans who don't have cars. Then they just wake up and they feel like, oh, our president must that's, have. That's what. Yes. That, that's what a loyal fan mm. is. Do you have any other? Do you have any other? No, thoughts? I'm just checking. Okay. okay. Mm. Mm. All right. Congrats so, to Kanye so, Kanye West. Well, Kim, but congratulations to Kanye. Con congrats. Kim Kardashian is trending. Why do you think she's trending? Oh, because obviously he's now the wealthiest <laughs> man in wealthiest black man in history. Are you not? Know so are you sure you want to be <laughs> boy? No, no, but. Uh, not true talk now, but at the end of the day, that shows you where your mind is at. You can be the wealthiest man on earth, but there's somebody that doesn't want you if you're misbehaving. Come up on there. Uh, <laughs> so you don't think that that marriage in the first place was a strategy? Mm -hmm. With a pre -not? No. Uh, no I'm at the time, at the time, no, no. You know that if you stop Kardashian to me, I will wake up. Yes. At the time Kanye when sister. they were dating, Kanye was dipping in the industry. In mm -hmm. fact, he needed that collaboration more than she needed it. Kanye was, eh? yes. Yes. Who is this Kardashian? <laughs> Kardashian Jenner. Please buy. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> do not disrespect Kanye. Please do not. Thank you very right. much. Right. We well, love our Kanye. Attaching to before, regardless. Before Rubbish. the old Kardashian. Regardless. Before the old Kardashian course caught up with him. Wow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for celebrity birthday shout out. <laughs> First up in alphabetical order, we have Adam Levine, who is 42 today. Yeah. He's an American singer, songwriter, record producer, and actor who is best known as the lead vocalist of the pop rock band Maroon 5. Mm. Oh, that's not real. His mm. voice texture is I amazing. Know. Yeah. amazing. Happy birthday. And I like it that he can, do, he can do his thing with Maroon 5 and still be a solo artist. Too. That's yeah. just so right. Can that happen in Nigeria? Um, yes, it let me think, let me think, now. let me think, let me think, let me think. Well, okay, no, you have to have left the band <laughs> properly. I get what you mean now. You would have left the band properly, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's just move on to celebrity mm. birthday. Yes, Maybe. next up, we have Queen Latifah, who is 51 today. <laughs> She is an award-winning American rapper, singer, songwriter, actress, voiceover actress, talk show host, producer, gangster. Fly girl! <laughs> yeah. yeah! Happy birthday to Queen Latifah, 51. Mm. Mm. I feel like she bullied a lot of people to get her role. <laughs> Come on, give it her role. <laughs> love, love, love I her love personality. It. Yes. <laughs> also celebrate today, we have Shola Fosudo, who is 63 today. Is a Nigerian prolific dramatist, film actor, director, and scholar. The last time I heard it was a lecturer at Junilla. I, 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 I think it's still a lecturer at the Very interesting. Junilla go last year. Last year, I can't remember. Last year. Yeah. Happy mm. birthday. 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 Also, celebrate today, we have Vanessa Williams, and she turns 58. Mm. 
She's an American singer, actress, and fashion designer. She initially gained recognition as the first African-American woman to receive the Miss America title when she was crowned Miss America 1984. She has since gone on to have a successful career on screen, on stage, and of course, in, in music. music. Yeah. Happy birthday, Vanessa Happy birthday, Williams. Vanessa like a Williams. queen. Mm. And of course, special birthday shout out uh, goes out to Ajibola Olabode. This is coming from your big sister who works with us right here at TVC. She's wishing you all the very best Aww. on this day and beyond. She loves you and wants you to continue to be a good and brilliant boy that you are oh um, which one is that how sweet <laughs> that's so sweet so sweet mm -hmm. all and right, of course happy birthday. happy birthday to everybody celebrating on this special mm -hmm. day we send you love light peace oh chelsea if you're a chelsea fan <laughs> turn up ah, the government ain't got nothing are not on chelsea you fans, if you're not a chelsea fan collect... come and collect blue kiss from me eh? Eh? Yeah. blue kiss give them blue kisses all right you be back right you back to this break mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take red, red! Give me a look. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, Let's do this. Yeah. I hope it's be Arsenal and Chelsea back. Uh, uh, <laughs> who be this again? We're gonna go Brits. Uh, no, we have to Brits today. Sorry. It go restrict their airflow. I'm not from beginning to the end of the show now. I'm on a two leg job. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's just move on. Nonsense. Because I know get money, so this has actually been trending. <laughs> People have been putting like funny, funny scenarios with because I know get something. So <laughs> now this one says because I know get money. Taylor's so close, no puss pocket. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Because I don't get TV, you tell me, say, come to America now, they will play the music. <laughs> ah, it's not fair. More review where once already yeah, come into America, America. Come into America. Kill on Shelley, David Dog. Uh uh. New music, Nick. <laughs> it's all, it's all. It's all. It's all. It's music. Well, you know that <laughs> OJ can actually do this. It's mischievous. And, get away. Like, and, that and then he will have a look. He will just say, ah, now the video. Do you know what I'm saying? I do to him. And then he will just come. When is this person training? I will just take the conversation on. Then he will now shout from my office. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm mad. Oh, 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 she, she knows now. <laughs> I know no book. I tell you, answer, you know, right, Tom. Ah, wow, you know. that thing can be very painful. So, you looked down on me. You yeah. asked one that I was so sure that I. No, who knows maybe, the answer? Who knows the answer maybe, to this question? Maybe, maybe I, I wrote two. I know the answer is two. No, who knows the answer? Who knows the answer? <laughs> ah, it is pain. Oh. Ah, it took. All right, Mary of Kitty says, because I don't get money, they use my ATM do ruler. Ah. Mm. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not asking for pin bar. Really? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. He says, do ruler. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's very bad. All right, the Max says, I see exam question, I faint. You rush, they pour me water. Me where I faint, I don't know what they do. <laughs> <laughs> my guy, wake up, eh? wake up. Go and write this exam. Wake yeah, up. No. Strategy <laughs> to not write the exam. Eh, confidence. My guy, wake up. The problem is you don't want to wake up. <laughs> but that not make them give you a. You come out and rewrite no. so, so, no, so, 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 it. So yes. maybe maybe they might now say, oh, you cannot write it today. Yes. Eh, so you, you go and prepare. Then you not collect yes, expo. You not collect about expo. Okay. How can you just be giving me F? That's not love. Oh. We spoke about it to teachers specifically. Yeah, okay. yeah, that, you how can I be fainting? Weekend lecturer. <laughs> You deserve something lower than us. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> All right, Haja Marie says this man just dropped his babe, his babe in front of my office, and they kissed goodbye after giggling for a minute. Mannerless people. Ew. I, I want. want. <laughs> I did see that. I want for me. Is there a want for me? Because honestly, people sometimes oh, really? like. All these irritating people just. My girl wants to set. Very soon, you'll not be the irritating person. It's sweet. Don't worry. Wait for your turn. They pay you, my guy. All right. This is from Frank, and he says, Nobody is busier than a person not interested in you. Wow. Yes. And the person will say, Let me close the fridge. Eh? I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I just want to close the fridge. Cute. Let me just say. Uh, just cue in Nigerian girls that ah. do not have a boyfriend. 
killing Nigerian guys that want to be scum. <laughs> what rubbish. <laughs> Nonsense. Ah. They always be calling you back. They always say, meeting, meeting, meeting. I'm in a meeting, I'm in a meeting. What meeting are you inside? I'm meeting to make money now. You take it by girls. I'm eating. Ah, is that thing that's happened before? Ah, I'm in a meeting. Me and I went out and I saw the guy in, in, a, in, a, in a bar. A smart guy now. I was like, oh, how is your meeting? It's a meeting. Oh. It's a meeting at the bar now. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, over drinks. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's a meeting. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so I think that is from Olua Fumilayo. Mm -hmm, and he says, mm -hmm. I asked him for transfer fare and he got me a car. A Benz, guys. Please. Oh. Why did they find this man? Oh. Anyways. I asked my boo for hoodie. He opened a boutique for me. Mm. Very big one. Oh, I, I asked my girlfriend for AC. <laughs> she took me abroad. <laughs> Since all of us, they meant. Let us be so, moving man together. Where did they even find these guys? <laughs> Where did you find these guys? You have to be telling us. Please. But this is his name again. This is Zobo. This is Zobo. This one is somebody. This one is somebody. This one is Sin Salafa. That you are giving us. Very mad. It's Pepe Puff. What is this? But this is rubbish. This is the Mad Cruiser. The AC one. Actually, no. If you want to, if you want to prove me wrong, you understand. I'm available. I'm available to just, just give me that Benz. Ah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I asked you for, you know, two hundred k transport fare. You just brought Benz 2019. Ah 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 ah. It's only. Only yeah. Angel Mike and Angel Gabriel that can do that. He's a liar. No. Human beings that can Men are capable. They are capable. The capable. Capable. Yeah. Ones. And capable that thing ones. is just forcing me to go to my rat side. <laughs> and I'm like, because you know what? <laughs> so I can't let me hear from men. I mean, just wow. be that thing. You don't Love guess, me. Like. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't, the, the swag is, I don't even want yeah. you to just be walking up and down. Like, uh, the sun is too hot, mm. okay? The bends with the driver. Mm. Ah! Finn, ah! Take me. That's going to happen in your too. sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Ben is saying, I texted my husband to come to the room. He came hurriedly. Then I told him to help me put the rest of my short bread in the huh. fridge, take my cup to the kitchen. Huh. He stood there the first couple of seconds, laughing and shaking his head. Say, Mary, Mary, sweet. Mm. Ah. I can't relate. Okay. I'm just, you because, know, man, I, I, ew, I want. <laughs> Please, if you are coming into my life, don't forget to hold money. That's the thing we're talking tell, about. Tell every Nigerian girl. Tell every that. Nigerian girl this thing. Yeah, something, no, something. tell every Nigerian boy this thing. If any Nigerian girl is coming to any Nigerian boy's life, mm. come with your money. Don't just enter that relationship and be saying, oh, Mofe, uh, Peruvian, oh, uh, Bone Street. Come with your own money into the relationship. You heard? Thank you very much. Only poor people. Talk it's talk not only poor people. Talk, it's talk like because Chima Mada said we're all equal. Talking like that. So bring Come your money. Your, bring your money. I bring out my money. Is equality. What do you have to offer? Bring your money. I bring my money. Have you asked me whether oh, I am fish. a feminist first? Forget. Hey! Angul! <laughs> Angul! We're going to move on. Cassandra said, I just had motion sickness on my way to work. I threw up in the vehicle. Ah. <laughs> Prince Baby says, this one don't get belay. <laughs> Saying a motion sickness. No go register for antenatal. You have put the fear of God inside of her. Why? Motion sickness exists. Yeah, you Nigerians. You Nigerians. But if you want to get it, child. Ah, not in us. Ah. Like every Nigerian girl when she's throwing on in front of her mother. In front of her mother. That's the right. eye is always different. They, they come, 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 come. The one, the one that busts my head is they will not uh, look under your eye. Look, they, they, the, they, baby, the baby used to show there. Ah, uh, you don't know. They they look look like, is that same grace that they have that if, even if you are pregnant for one day, uh, they can tell. Uh -uh. They see you like this. They just oh, no, this one no. Yeah. <laughs> Natural scanners. <laughs> oh. hey. African mothers. We have the. Please, that's all I have. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Amanda. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially done with the first hour of the show. We'll Woo see you at one for more throwback vibes. Oh, Chelsea! Oh, but now join us for a grown man. Yep. Welcome back to the second half of the show. Now it's time to chew it up. Where one of us will vent on what's bothering him or her. <laughs> that, you, that you cannot. Only pause, that, they that, you, you? that you lose. <laughs> you, you win your match. You're in tenth position. You win match. You still be in tenth position. This season, you're not making top four. No Europa. OJ, OJ, not OJ. OJ, OJ, it's not your rant. Off your mic. I'm not going to be able Why? I is think it... that's what she wants to talk about. Is... Why is Chelsea just winning? They're succeeding. And Arsenal is just... Why? You're just being a man right now. Let her talk her talk. 
must be stealing her talk from her. Yeah, hmm. talk, talk your talk. Please. Let me just run to my rant. And yes. afterwards, this one, you will bite his tongue. Yeah. Trust in me. In my mighty name of Jesus, I will not bite my tongue. <laughs> so, you're not a bad person hmm. if you're genuinely happy and you celebrate your friends when they succeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you now get into your own closet, you get to your house and you're alone and you think, oh, God, when, you know, and you know, you're, you just, you're just wondering when it will be your turn. I don't think you're a bad person. You are not a bad person. But you say, what is not acceptable? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was waiting for the honeypot angle. Yay. What is not acceptable is mm -hmm. when... You don't want your friends to succeed just because you're not succeeding yet. Mm. You know, there is time for mm. everything. Your own time too will come. Mm. It is called crab mentality. Pull down, pull down. You know, when a crab, when you put uh, a group of crab, like in the, a bucket, and then one is trying to climb up, pull your down. another one is pulling the other one down <laughs> because they just don't want, and if that one tries to climb again, they Come break back. the hand. They break the so you know so that the person will not shall get out of like we die here together. together. Wow, that is witchcraft. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. you know when you see people, <laughs> you're like, ah, yeah. God, when will it be my time? Yeah. There is nothing bad. But when mm -hmm. it now turns to another thing entirely, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you go to church and you go to mosque and then you're fighting witches and wizards fire and bone, all that. Fire, fire bone, fire bone, and you're doing this one. You are the cause of the You fire. are a witch. It is called a witchcraft. Okay, so that is the end of my rant. I'll catch yourself we need and to, work on I yourself. Know. We need to celebrate this day. Uh -uh. Very short Very rant. So short I am thing. not saying that for people <laughs> who think that we are not celebrating with them, we are celebrating with you, but oh. do not be so proud and rub it in our hands. Mira, Lorero, 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 Lorero. But I love, I love the way she now did it, but honestly speaking, that's a very, very valid rant. And I think that, you know, it's something that is, is very, very specific to Nigerians mm -hmm. because the economy is very hard. Mm -hmm. And it just feels like, why are you not defining this, this Why money? am I see this success? <laughs> and it can now make you feel like, oh, because I'm going through this thing, mm -hmm. uh, this other person, you now want to associate another person's, to, mm -hmm. uh, another person's success rather to maybe fraud. Mm -hmm. Oh, Doing she probably is following tense. old men. Mm -hmm. You know, you always want to make it, you want to downplay the yeah. person's success. Mm -hmm. Success. And it's very bad because one day you will get there and people will not also trust your source of income. That's so, right. Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, honey so, pots. <laughs> so that is to Uplifting say. Uplifting people. Yes, that is to say, Arsenal fans, embrace the champions. Embrace people that are winning. Don't look at and be saying, eh, it's because. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to go to my chair. Amanda is with M Blue, like representing Bye. embracing. Honey, uh, OJ, this rant was for you. You did not learn your lesson. No, it's for them. Okay. Arsenal fans are not embracing. Moving success. on, guys. <laughs> it's time for a recap of the entertainment news in case you missed it earlier. Yes, we talked about this one. Avatar reclaims top spots as highest grossing film. Kanye West becomes the wealthiest black man in American history. I beg, does Kanye West have a sister? <laughs> does he have a sister? I'm interested. The money is not for the sister, it's for Kanye West. So my, un right. my uncle's money. The, uncle, the wife uncle. that is there, the children that are there. You're the long queen. There's a divorce. It says not rich into him. There's a divorce. Bring up inside marriage. The owner is like grown up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back shortly to find out which artists <laughs> we are shining our spotlight on. Today is where are they now? <laughs> <laughs> Blue. Welcome back to the show. I'll hey, be hey, we're going to the playlist. Today. And we yeah. yeah. What is wrong with your news? You better rearrange your news. <laughs> And I really, really like the fact that, you know, when you listen to music back then, you can actually sing from beginning to the end. Yeah, yeah. everybody was just singing. Everybody right. was just singing. Go to the groove, baby. Go to the baby. Let me see them. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it is time for Where Are They Now? Let's see who we have today. It's Where Are They Now? Terry G. Gabriel Oche Amani, popularly known by his stage name Terry G, is a Nigerian rapper, singer, songwriter and record executive, widely known for his eccentric dress sense, controversial lyrics and awkward identity. 
The Akmako Master, as he is fondly called, received critical acclaim for his unique brand of music and personality. Through his songs, he admitted to using drugs and alcohol. However, in September 2014, he stated that he had stopped taking hard drugs. Now, for those who don't know, the Free Madness crooner has been dropping tracks and videos, but they haven't received the airplay live back in the days. We await that banger, Terry G. Now you know where they are now. That year, mm. I doubt if anybody had the energy mm. Terry G had. Honestly, with, with the bell ringing and all of that. Like, yes. E for energy. <laughs> Terry G, mad, oh, madness, mad. madness, yeah. And then I, I've been interviewed Terry G before, Person and then you just be very quiet. No, what? What? Ah, what's what? going on? Where you get, where you get the ginger? <laughs> where you don't get it, but you, you slow. Oh, don't let us get the, into that. Yeah, don't let us get yeah. into that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to you, Terry G. It was his birthday yesterday or day before yesterday. Yeah, yeah it was. He's yeah, in the US now. I remember during the old lockdown, himself, um, during when people were doing versus versus mm -hmm. himself and K Solo, they put out their cards. Catalog mm -hmm. for versus. Ah, oh. that's why I was in that massive catalog. Yeah, for, as hits. a producer, as an artist, then K-Solo 2 as a producer, as an artist. Ah, man. There is a particular song I like of K-Solo, K-Solo with Timaya, and it was talking about God or something. <laughs> Oluwa, one very nice song like that. Like, ah, I can't remember. Till tomorrow. Like, Timaya, ah. Timaya is always talking about Oluwa, then enemies, enemies. <laughs> yeah. But he has changed now. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about something exciting. Love is a beautiful thing. It's done jazzy again. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Love is a beautiful thing. I tell you, regardless of color, tribe, background, when love hits you, it just does that. Do you ever think about your first love or first crush from childhood and how you express Press your attraction to him or her. Well, brace up because we're about to go down memory lane. Let's throw it back to the ways love was expressed back in the day. This is Daily Top 5. Five four, three, two, one. Let's Watch me. So about to get exciting, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Number one, letter writing. Yes, this one, uh, one is common way of expressing love in the olden days. A lot of guys seem to find it easier to express their feelings by writing love letters to the girl of their dreams. Ladies, do not lie. You fell from the cavalry greetings. And if so, doxology. <laughs> I picked this pen with my heart of love. <laughs> my golden pen. My golden pen. <laughs> dip, dip dip in in the, oh my God. <laughs> I, I hope I, I hope you are feeling fine as I am. You know what? I don't know why that culture has gone away because it's so sweet to write a letter. Very sweet. You know, and I, I tell you what, I used to keep my. And then own. I think it evolved to text messages. And then but now it's it just, just nobody Instagram said, DM. Nothing. Alpha. Just like, hi. Alpha. I still I? like letters. Like, I still like letters. Like you can just write me a letter, handwritten, mm -hmm. and I will be so so happy. So I used to have this boyfriend. Whoa. Uh, I won't say boyfriend, boyfriend, like in the university. So this person was crushing on me and all that and all that. And then, you know, I used to keep the letters in um, an empty yeah. uh, cornflakes uh, uh, okay. carton. Okay. Then I would now sell a tape. I will cut the letters. I will cut them because I don't want anybody to know my secrets. Oh, and then wow. I will now put everything inside the carton. Then I will now sell a tape, sell a tape, sell a tape, sell a tape. Then when I now want to, like, I'm missing the guy, I will now go and sit down somewhere and rearrange it. Yeah. So you do I will now say, what? Yeah. You use the thing to do puzzle. Yeah. We'll continue with Daily Top 5 <laughs> after chest. this break. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, guys, for staying here with us. Of course, it's still Daily Top 5. And the letter keeper. Us telling us about her puzzle. The letter <laughs> keeper. I don't want anybody to know my secrets. That's... Okay, <laughs> so let's move on to the next one. Intermediary or matchmaker. Now, we can't even deny that matchmakers were responsible for a lot of relationships in the past. For those that were shy, there was always that one friend or relative you could arm twist into helping you talk to your crush. Shout out to all the intermediaries or matchmakers in our lives. They were the real MVP. Thunder fire you. No shout out to you. Thunder fire you, Festus. I remember I screamed. Yes. <laughs> Yes. What the I, 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 do? I, don't, I don't want to call the girl's name so that if they are, mm. somebody might just link it. Mm. So I had this girl I was crushing on. Mm. And they were in the same hostel. Mm. Eh? Don't tell me it is what I'm thinking. No, so I thought. Was Festus running things? Ah! ah! That's why. That's why. Festus, so, carry on. So the lesson, the lesson I learned from that day. 
-hmm. said, if I like a girl, mm. down to even asking for phone number, I'll, I'll ask... go straight to. Because first of was coming to give me, I'm talking to her, I'm talking to her. I was doing a bright one on you. I, I, I'm talking to her, I'm talking to her, don't worry. Ebenezer Obeso, Magba, Yawore, Ojulo, Fintini. We'll come to the cafeteria, you buy food, don't worry, you just sit down, don't worry. I'm you are now funding their relationship. Aww. Hey, yeah, first of all, was doing parody. Don't worry, you just sit down, don't worry. Don't worry, 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 Although, yeah, some people, some were good, <laughs> others intermediary were good, but that particular oh. example, should I call the girl's name? Let's just go. But there's some intermediaries that are now. nice, though. Yeah, some are nice. Because I remember in primary school, one guy that liked me, his brothers now came to talk to me. They now came with a car. Eh? Like, they now drove, they now dropped me off at home. I was now feeling cool at the back seat, <laughs> in my primary school uniform. Like, Thank you so much for dropping me at I see it's good tomorrow. <laughs> Borrow a <laughs> Borrow a from King OJ. Hey. Run your thing yourself. Bro. Run your thing yourself. <laughs> no, but if you have family members, no, uh, you can trust those ones. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, songwriting and singing. How can you talk about expressing love in the olden days without songwriting and singing? No way. I'm sure love made many guys discover their hidden sing songwriting and singing talent. Remember the Yemi, my lover days. Uh -huh. Are you ready? So, All thank I you. Thank you. Do you know? And then because I have Yemi in my name. So they sang that on the love. Oh, okay. Now, so this is my boyfriend. I'm like, oh, yeah, me, my lover. And I'm like, mm. yeah, I'm not even watching me, my lover. That time. I'm like, mm. what are you saying? Okay. <laughs> so I don't want to watch me, my lover, because of uh, uh, You now yeah. got to, like, uh, uh, I'm, not a, I'm, I'm sure you got to I all of the people I actually had a well composed song. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, something, something, Amanda. <laughs> something, something. <laughs> it was like the top of the school, because we had to use Bluetooth to share it, yeah. you know. So at the time, um, she had just broken up with one girl in secondary school. <laughs> So, and he never sang any song for her. They were now looking, they were now all the, because I was in science class, so all of commercial class was not eyeing me. So, like, I was this girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it was really fun, though. Rubbish. I actually have the phone. Uh, maybe I'll play it for you. Huh? you yeah. Say, yeah. Say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you listen to it now, how do you feel? Yeah, it, it's weird. <laughs> the guy is actually engaged now to be uh, married. Oh, so, yeah. No, but yeah, I had love songs uh, compiled <laughs> for me. Like, yeah, I had the compilation and in, in uh, cassettes. Cassettes, cassettes. Nice. <laughs> All right, bickering or picking a fight. I'm sure many of us did this one. Standards. Again, if you were too shy to just walk up to your crush, bickering and picking a fight with them was the odd yet common way many show their interest from picking a fight they start to notice one another and voila they become lovers this one standard, standard. i remember i don't like i don't like him my friend get out get out then later one will the other yeah. will just, uh, i remember coming home and telling my sister that there's this guy in my class he so every time you see him he's always throwing sweets on me he doesn't like me he hates me so much i don't even know why he hates me he likes you <laughs> talking about because your sister <laughs> Crazy man. And of course, wrapping daily top five, number five, having a special meeting spot. Mm. Was this what we meant when we're singing? Abe -i -i yes, many love stories started from meeting spots like under big trees, school backyards, roadsides, entrance of churches, and so many more. What made it even more special was having a signal that made it easy for both of you to know when to meet at the spot. Hmm. Like, she might just look at you like... You see all those mango trees, they ah. suffer. We Fruit tree. Ah, so fat. So fat. Was part of the cruise. You have to catch fruits for her now. If not, I'm not a, are you a boy? <laughs> amazing, uh, amazing, amazing. Oh my God! What? <laughs> Very interesting. All right, that's it on today's Daily Trip Five. We'll be back shortly with a special guest. Trust me, you do not want to miss this one. Stay here with us. You know the shame, even by people die, you never get. Hey. Plenty, plenty nonsense. True, ladies and gentlemen. Our guest today is a film producer and lawyer who's also a music talent agent. He has managed many Nigerian top artists, ranging from King Wasia Inde, Marshall K1, The Ultimate, The Band, Don Jazzy, El Did the Dawn, and the list goes on and on. And of course, he directed that particular video by the tri tribesmen. Plenty nonsense. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Aya Shonaya Ooh. in the building. First of all, I would like to say congratulations to you. Thank you. And the reason I'm saying this to you is because of a contribution to the music industry. I mean, from the, uh, you know, start mm -hmm. till we, you know, built it to the Grammy level. I mean... We are winning Grammys now. We are winning Grammys now. Yes. How exactly do you feel? I feel absolutely, absolutely elated 
because, I mean, we talk about it just like nice back in the days. One day I'll bring the mm -hmm. Grammy. You know, sometimes you say it out there and it happens. It, mm. Maybe it doesn't happen to you, but it happens to someone else. But that Grammy win was for, it's for all of us. Mm -hmm, for all of us from the beginning, from, from then Kenny and D1, from Obi Asika, from Jimmy Jad, from everybody that's contributed to this, our industry, the Grammys for. So I feel absolutely 100%. Okay, how, how do you feel when you see any of your works now? Like we played uh, Plenty Nonsense by Trez, man. Uh, I sing along to it. <laughs> How do you feel when you see the visuals and like, oh God, what were we doing? I remember what we were doing that day. <laughs> you know that place where they showed now, where the police were harassing? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. That's where the shop right is now at first. Oh, Park. yeah. That big space that, yes, by that yes. big hotel. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. where we shot mm -hmm. it. What year yeah. was this? 2002, we, I think we shot the video. 2001 or two. I think it's two, 2002. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about, uh, <clears throat> you're here to talk about um, Afrobeat's backstory. Yes. Um... Let's start from the beginning. A whole lot of people, I want you to educate a whole lot of people because we know there's a genre Afrobeat. Yes, with the yes. The, yes, the, yes, there's the genre Afrobeat, that's a fellow one, and there's the Afrobeat right which now. Which is what's happening which now. Which is what's yeah. happening mm -hmm. right now. A whole lot of people get to mix, yes. mix it up. Mm -hmm. Can you break it down so that people know that there's one for fella and the one people are doing right now? Okay, Afrobeat, Afrobeat. Without the, the one, S. Without the S is the one that's made famous by fella Nikola Pokuti. Baba. <laughs> and that's a mixture of back in the days, high life, jazz, and a little bit of funk, you know, that, you know, James Brown funk, which is what Fela brought to, you know, to, to, to African music there. But Afro beats now mm. is a mixture of all that Afro beats with pop, with, with, with uh, uh, dancehall, with even, you know, like a lot of mix mm. to make it. So it's pretty much African Afro pop music, African pop music, but it's just called Afro beats. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I chose that name for my documentaries because that's the name people are throwing out now. No. It started up, it started out in the UK where I used to live. Well, I still live. Yeah. <laughs> I, I spend more time in Nigeria I now. I bet my wife is watching now. I say, like, where, where do you live? <laughs> uh -huh. so, <laughs> so, you know, in the UK, and then it has become the name that a lot of people are saying that we should use as an umbrella name. There's still some people that say maybe you shouldn't touch Afro beats. Oh, yes, yes. Because don't you think that's a disrespect? Well, I used to think so. Okay. If you watch my documentary, you see mm. there was an interview I did in 2015. I said, I hate that name. Mm. Don't touch Fela's music. Don't touch mm -hmm. Fela's legacy. But now, it, funny enough, that name I started to embrace because of my own daughter, who's named Fela as okay. well. Mm -hmm. She's named after Fela. <laughs> so she told me that word, Afro beats, that, you know, Afro beats, that, you know, when they say it. But, you know, the industry belongs to the kids now. Mm. So if me, an old guy now, is saying, no, 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 and the, everybody's saying it, I'll just become that old guy <laughs> that's just saying his own. So Afro beats, I think, in the documentary, see me, you know, see me the singer. Yeah, yeah. She said, Afro beats. Is the child of Afro beats. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a child bearing his father's name. Okay. And I said, absolutely, I'll take, you know. Like Fela uh, yeah. Jr. <laughs> exactly. Okay. But now, Fela's many children. Mm -hmm. You know, there's Afro swing, Afro, but in Nino is doing Afro house. Afro house. Afro, mm -hmm. But, you know, Afro beats is African beats. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the perfect name for it. So that's the reason. Okay, why. so uh, in 2008, UNESCO yes. actually declared that reggae genre uh, should be preserved. Mm -hmm. That, you know, for the global culture, as a global culture the treasure. Yes. And then you asked a particular question and you were like, okay, so what would be the legacy of Afrobeats? What would it stand for? What would be. So I am putting that question. Back, back to me, to you. yeah. So you've like, done your research, so you're I mean, following me. Yeah, so of okay. course, uh, you know, uh, in years to come. Yes. What do you think Afrobeats with the S would stand for? The well, first of all, I would want the same recognition for Afrobeats and Afrobeat fella mm. as they are recognizing reggae. Mm. You understand? That's number one. I would want that. What I want Afrobeats to stand for is African beats. Every song made by an African that has African beats. And when I say beats, it's the drums, it's the percussion, it's the, sorry, going back to my documentary of again, course. which is a history lesson. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's like a history lesson. There's a drum pattern in Ghana. People call it the Ghana bounce. Mm -hmm. You've heard it before. It's the five beat pattern. It's that one that, you know, back, back, back. You know, that, that's the type of, those kind of beats infused into Afro beats and pop music is what Afro beats is. It's just that bounce. Somebody, there's a guy I interviewed in Ghana called JMJ. He's a studio engineer and he's worked with a lot of, a lot of artists. He said some rhythms just move you naturally. Mm -hmm. You do not need to think about it. Mm -hmm. If you hear an Afrobeat, you would move, you move your shoulders. 
You move your shoulders, true but you see the shoulders of the world is moving now. Mm. Mm. True that, true so it's that. not just our own natural. You know, it's mm. us because yes, we're yes, yes. Oimbo people are moving. Mm. You play Coco below just mm. now. You know when people are saying, eh, "Ori me do be do be." Now people are bopping true their that, heads true that, true to that, Afro beats. That, so that. the shoulders of the world is moving now. And it should be preserved like that. So that's why I think Afro Beats will be in the future. All, All right. right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the trailer for Afro Beats backstory. And of course, we see Ayoshinaya in the building. Let's go. There was nothing like Remedies, there was nothing like Idris, there was nothing like Kenneth. No way, you sure? Tribes, man, Remedies, Paul Play, and Plantation Boys. I would first mention Remedies. 98, 99. We started to see a change in the music. 1999. You right there. And did you see the cameo appearance right there? Ayoshinaya <laughs> right there in the video? Like, oh gee, like, oh Tony, yeah, oh Tony. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in the documentary, yes. I heard DJ about say that not every beat, every sound in Africa is Afrobeat. It's true. I mean, I want you to shed some light on it because, of course, some people still don't like the fact that, you know, Afrobeat, they don't like, how, how do you put every genre? See, but when I, when I was doing interviews for the documentary i did 147 interviews mm. in eight countries mm. so you know some people in south africa they have their own mm -hmm. you know some people in east africa have their own kwaito music ndombolo music now they're having this ama piano yeah all this yeah yeah no that's what i'm saying so a lot of people will say well not every song is afrobeat the afrobeats is just niger or niger and ghana it's fine, but Nigeria and Ghana are the ones that are reigning right now. We're the ones winning Grammys. Let's boast a little oh, bit. Wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I mean, before the Bonner Boy and, and uh, Whiskey, you mm, know, Sonny people Abu like, uh, yeah, Sonny, yeah, no, the, uh, not even nomination alone. Afro B has won the Ghana, yeah. you know, as a contributor to Ed Sheeran's music uh, album. That's so right. not all music is Afro beats, but it's, I believe, and that's what my crusade is. It's the most dynamic genre that's coming out of Africa right now. That's mm -hmm. the genre that's taking over the world. Why did you decide to do this documentary? Ah, Because okay. before you even answer that question, yes, I mean, a, a cue to that. Because, um, um, you know, I want to know, because yes. you documented this from 1992. 1999. 1999. Yes. And then you started off like 1992, I think, or the something? Well, 1992 was, that was, okay. 1992, I graduated film school. Okay. 1998, I graduated law school. So okay. I've done film school, I've done law school. And, then, and I was doing a documentary on K1 The Ultimate. Mm -hmm. uh, was you Which you saw on his birthday. So, yes, 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 yes. So if you say that... That's you, when I entered music. Yes, so if you say that, oh, so uh, it took me two years. I don't think it took you two years. You had started... Oh, do, what what yes. were you thinking when you started documenting? Oh, no, 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 I was thinking about this documentary. Mm -hmm. I was in 1999. So it was a strategy. Yes, I was, I've been filming I, throughout my career, 20 years in music in 1999 to 2019 i had a camera with me i was filming everything we saw the common one yeah so that i can put it out it's just that the actual production of it which is the uh, interviews the traveling the editing the, you know this is my editing beard it was when i was you know during the lockdown that was when i was editing i didn't used to have this but a lot of people say it's nice now Gang, white beard gang. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, and, so this question. So this question so why did you start to do this? I started doing it because I know that what was germinating then is going to be big in the future. I'm not a prophet, too, but I just thought, okay, this thing we're doing now is going to mean something 20 years' mm -hmm. time. So I just started filming everything. Mm -hmm. I have archives like Boku. Mm -hmm. You know, I have on the plane. I have with, I did five years with K1, the ultimate. I have videos everywhere we go. I have every, same thing with the bands on Jazzy, Tribesmen, Akon, you know, Ludacris. I have videos of everybody. In fact, the videos I'm using, the archives I'm using for this documentary is about maybe 40 50%. Mm. I still have more videos that I can do different, different things. documentaries. Talking about K1, yes. the ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on his birthday, and then you mentioned in the documentary that is the biggest artist you have managed, yes, and then you mentioned true. Akon. Yes. Akon that is global, yes. you know? It, and, and I really want to know, how do you see it? So why did you say this? Let me, let me, let me, let me break it down for you. King Wasua in there started, he made his first album in 1980, Iba. Okay. This guy has been putting out albums 
since 1980. Till now, first of all, Econ was, okay, let me know, give you Econ's age. <laughs> you know, seriously. So that's like 81 to yeah, now is 40 yeah. years. Yeah. So he's been making, he's, he's been on top for 40 years. Mm -hmm. We've been everywhere. Mm -hmm. Before Econ started his music career, K1 has been out there. I joined him in 99 till 2004. You understand, for five years, I did five albums with him. I traveled the world. We took Fuji to Mount Fuji. You understand? To we Mount took Fuji, yeah. yeah. No, we took Fuji everywhere. We spread it and we made it. You see, people that are making money now, they are saying, oh, they are balling. We were balling. <laughs> we will make money. They will pay for performance. The they will spray thing. us. <laughs> After that, people will even come and appreciate what you yourself at the hotel before we even leave the city. K1 is the biggest artist I've ever managed. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like no, you know, if Econ has won Grammy and is global and everything, K1 is global. True, true, you understand? True, so true, true. really, we should, we should start looking inwards. Mm -hmm. Now that we're winning Grammy, don't let us feel yeah. as if, <laughs> oh yeah, they are now accepted mm -hmm. us. We are big in our own space true, true. already. So definitely, yes, K1 is the biggest artist I've ever yeah. managed. So what should we look forward to From talking about the backstory? After the backstory, yeah. you should look forward to a lot of interviews, a lot of revealing stories. It's not the story, it's the backstory. Mm -hmm. So that one is more interesting, mm -hmm. how things germinate and everything. And this thing took a lot out of me. Mm -hmm. I mean, apart from the fact that I produced it myself mm -hmm. because I had the, you know, I still had to like, try and get support and people were not thinking which documentary are you doing so I had to go out mm -hmm. and do it myself you so, I mean I got some support so. from like a couple of sponsors techno boom play mm -hmm. all these people because they are interested in music and mm -hmm. they're supporting the music yeah. you understand mm -hmm. but apart from and Pepsi as well sorry I don't want to be doing that <laughs> <laughs> but really I should give people who support this our industry they're not just artist or anything. So Boom Play Techno, they support the industry and they supported me. Is it, is it out on any streaming platform? What's, what's, what's uh, it's what's going to be out on the, stream, on, the, on the streaming platform right after the premiere on April 2nd. You're premiering a documentary? Yes, but what we're doing is nine episodes of 45 minutes each, but we're only showing the first two episodes. So mm -hmm. after that, you'll now go. Because we can't sit and watch yeah, documentary. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a first. Okay. People are actually going to watch a documentary and learn, you understand, and be entertained as well. So a lot of the music clips, how I met Tri's men, a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of stuff is there. <sighs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs> She's like, oh, I mean, I don't worry. Do you want to come? Time. Do you want to come? Of course. Yeah, I wish okay, we okay, had okay. more time, but then there thank is you. no. Thank I mean, you very thank much. You. Thank you very much. We'll be looking out for Afrobeat backstory and of course everything. <laughs> thank you very it. much. Thank, thank you very much. much. All right, guys, we'll go on a quick break and we'll be back to wrap up the show. Let's go. Much, uh, yes, and Afrobeats. Wow, mm -hmm. shout out to Ayushinaya <laughs> for coming on the show today, mm -hmm. and a shout out to you, 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 and uh, you watching the show. I mean, without you, won't be here, and you help put food on our table. That's yes. a yes. up, Chelsea. Ha -ha, up wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, on behalf of these beautiful people, Ben, Ben, Blue, and Blue, Amanda. <laughs> King OJ, my name is Honeypot, Goddess for Life! We'll see you tomorrow, Wait, by the way. Goddess for Life! We are playing the audience.